Hand on Get on. Uh, can I have your attention for a minute, folks? Uh, we're, we're just about to start this uh, exercise, and the, the idea is we want some volunteers to get buried. Uh, oh, that's two right away. We've got three, yes. Yeah. Four, all right. Well, we've, we've only got two graves at the moment, so you have to take turns. So, so what, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, bury you. You'll be quite safe. It's not very deep with a walkie-talkie, so you'll be able to speak to us anyway, and you'll be well covered up. And uh, one of the police Sarda dogs will, will find you. And uh, they can dig down quite violently, but don't get too worried. You know, you know dogs, what dogs are like anyway, so there won't be any problem with that. You want to say something, Romerson, about the, the dogs? Oh, I just uh, Search and Rescue, the Dog Association, uh, it was started about 1965 uh, in Glencoe here. In our area here, there's approximately 17 dogs just now. Any type of dog is uh, quite good for it, as long as it's got a good nose, knows what to do. What they actually do is they work on human body scent. You probably see in pictures people giving dogs a hanky to sniff for a bit of clothing. Yeah, the dogs don't work on that principle at all. It's just your body scent yeah, that's coming off you. Yeah, all the time you're clothing your own skin it's giving off. Must be a terrible scent for the dogs because they can pick it up at great distances on the hill, uh, five, six hundred yards away. The dogs will smell you out and they'll just home in on you. Some of the dogs will stand, they'll stand over you and they'll bark on you and slaver all over you. Uh, some folk get frightened of that. Don't be frightened, the dogs will not touch you. All they're doing is just uh, letting the handler know that they found somebody. It makes a change digging someone out that's not uh, dead, isn't it? Right, do you give your hand? Get your hand out nice and slow, right. that's the way. That's it. I keep your head down. Head down, that's you're just about out the hole now. That's your head out. Just pull you, okay? Yeah. You got it. Just pull. <laughs> that's you out now. Right, thanks. Well done. Okay. Are you in the clear now? Oh, right, thanks. Get your hat back on now. Get your hat back on, get your head warm. Okay. Are you cold? <laughs> well, I'm a bit wet now. <laughs> Are you? Thank you very much. No, we what great dogs there, we right? We just take the yeah. snow off the radio. Oh, Great dogs, ah, they good, are. Aren't they? They're super. Yeah, found yeah. you no problem. Yeah. Right, so if you push the probes in then, everybody down. Okay, out. Take so pace forward. And then probe again. We'll uh, do a kind of probing exercise. We'll give each of you a probe, because that's how we've got to find bodies sometimes. So you'll be in a long line, we'll get that organised, and we'll bury a rucksack or perhaps someone. And, and you'll get the idea of moving forward in a straight line and probing. And uh, it's, it's quite interesting to get that technique of, uh, you know, determining if you're <coughs> probing onto the ground or if it's a rucksack or something. You get quite good at it after a while. Oh, yes. You got it. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Great diggers are back at work, uh, Wendy. Ah, oh, oh, it's Paul Moore's again. That's the second time he's done it. <laughs> uh, what would, did it feel like, uh, Wendy? Slightly claustrophobic. <laughs> did, did you feel the probe coming in at your back? Oh, it hit me at the side. It was just too bad. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh. <sighs> Well done, Wendy. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mine Rescue Flight Sergeant Taylor. Hello, Petrie Ray. We're just getting word in about a job uh, across the sail. Got uh, one man buried in an avalanche on the Five Sisters Ridge. Catch you at the moment. Right, I'll bring you back for details in a little while. I'll just get the guys queued up. Cheers now. Rescue 137, this is Rossi Rescue. Rossi Rescue 137, go. 
Uh, do you require a police dog? What was it? Police dog. Oh, oh uh, police dog. Uh, about a... And for rescue, rescue 137 Airborne from Dossy Mouth, en route to Tim Lost to pick up uh, MRT, and then en route to the uh, Avalanches. Okay guys, I haven't had time to tell you so far, but there's a job on on the Five Sisters of Contail. We believe one person caught in an avalanche and there's a party of five altogether. The, the rest of them are looking for the missing person. And we've got to go join Contail MRT and a couple of dogs and look for them. We don't have uh, any other details at the moment. So the chopper is coming in in a few minutes. We jump on and we'll no doubt go to Contail's base and be briefed from there on. the weather got really rubbish and they decided to go down into Corre Dovin, just below the, the Bialach they said they got avalanched, so it was, they were only a couple of minutes from the top of the Bialach to when they were avalanched we've got no details about how far the avalanche actually went yeah. they, they reckon it's here, Donald McMillan who knows this ground into it, he says yeah. this lot doesn't avalanche I see. 
So Dolan reckons that could be further over to, to the east. Okay. So try there first. We'll try there first, yeah? Yeah. And then we'll start going east. Okay. Right. Okay. Do you want to keep this number? So, yeah, I can't see it. Okay. Two dogs, two policemen, and two timber, two MR. Okay. Two dogs, keep a bait now, drop in about 300 yards away from the incident. Nice. Looks like a digging job. Okay. That's not a good uh, couple of metres here from the side. Couldn't mark at the shovels. We missed it. But I can see the path there up the edge, so you want the bit. Okay, forward! Forward! It's like park snow too, Sandy. This is hell of steep rock. Let's see if I can punch a bigger hole or something. Forward! Do you know they found a bit of a uh, bit of a zip down at the bottom there? Yeah, let's there's see. a box of matches down, down there as well. The snow there. Aye. There's a bit of foot down the matches. You can never tell, though. Could have dropped that. I don't know. Aye. Good boy. Who does it rock there? Eh? Yeah, it's at the rock. Try this side. You get a lot of ice off there. Yeah, but you get through the ice, there's something springy. Yeah. Up. No? You're getting rocker there? Yeah. Okay. Nice job. He's rocking that one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm going to put Dirk in the down over here. Just so what the master said is right now. Dirk, come. Dirk, come. Dirk, come. Down. Down, Steve. We came initially. Uh, and as quick as we could and we were the first in to carry out a search. The reason for that is that the dogs uh, 
can pick up on a warm human scent. Now, uh, the circumstances here today are such that the snow has been packed very, very tightly and it's hindered the dogs in picking up the scent of the man. The unfortunate thing about somebody being buried in snow, uh, as I've said, it's just like putting something into the refrigerator. The longer you leave it in the cold, the less the smell becomes. So it makes things greatly more difficult as time goes on, especially for the dogs. And it comes down to more a, a manual labor type job. Hey boys, I think I've got something over here. Bring the shovels. Yeah, I'm on the side of it. Wait. Get back. All right, everyone. Tell me, don't worry. Are you? Can tell you later. Wait. Now. Can you see the other one? Yeah. I've got a foot of you. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's the other one right. now. Right. Okay, we've got enough of your mate. Let's drag him out of there. Okay. You right? Right. Come on in. Boys. On three. Every hold. One, one two, two, three. Okay, come on. Right. Keep bringing come on. Come on, That's it. That's it. Right, go on. Get the dog back, will you? Dirt! Get out of that! Come! Come, dear! Come! 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 Come!
Yes, you're ready to breathe into him and I'll stop. Yes, you're doing that. Okay. Very unlikely that we'll get anything now. Six hours. <laughs> well, the chances have got to be what, less than about 20%. Six hours with a packed for it. No airspace. Yeah. Right. Just packed. Is it packed? Right? Yeah, yeah, it's packed right there. I, I don't think there's anything more we can do. Uh, it's completely, just completely covered. The stuff is so wet and heavy, he's you not know, a chance to anything. His head would be about, what, three feet under? His feet were further down. He was lying face down, head head down the hill. His feet back up, his rucksack on his back. He's only got a poly bag we can put him in and make an alpine basket. Aye, carry him Yeah. Somebody got a poly bag, or do you have to use a real tech bag? Has he got one in his bag? No. Hi uh, Roger, Joe. Well, as soon as they get there, yeah. obviously we'll transfer it over to them. I've got a rope. I love my life. Yeah, I've got a rope. 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 I've Kilo control, kilo control, this is kilo two, kilo two, over. Uh, kilo, uh, kilo control, this is kilo two, we are found the casualty, the casualty is cap five, I say again, cap five, over. Come here! Anybody else want a bicky? Yeah, David. Yeah, I want. Let's do some more. Sit! Any more probe bits? You want a long walk? Are we going to make last orders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just come. Just come. Just come.